The fact that no one's in it as well, I think perfectly calm. The zoo was good, but this is just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Good morning everyone from the Holiday Inn at Clark Quay. So it's going to be cloudy for most of our trip this week, but today it's going to be 26 degrees up to 29 degrees. Today is zoo day. We go to the Singapore Zoo and then the night safari in the evening. First we're going to go for some breakfast, which was included, which I didn't realise. Then up to the rooftop swimming pool for a swim at 8.45, because you have to book on at the minute. And yeah, so the night safari, I won't be able to film much because you won't see it anyway in the dark, I imagine. But we'll see how far we get. We're going to use the metro for the first time which is apparently really good here. So I have to get a metro to as close to the park as possible and they run a $1, which is 50 pence, no, 80 pence, 50 pence, 60 pence, 60 pence type. It's like $1 to get to the, uh, get the shuttle from the metro station to the, to the park. But first breakfast. I did wake up at 4 a.m. due to the time difference. So I am ready to roll. I'm quite hungry now. Oh, our test results came in. Because that's why we're allowed to leave the room. We, um, they came through at like midnight. So I just rang reception to say we're negative, which means we now can leave the room and go on. So we do have to just do a lateral flow test every day before we leave. smell toast. So as with everywhere you've got to check in here. Okay I'm very hungry so I'm gonna eat this fast however that was the fastest ever buffet I've ever been through at breakfast. Uh, the team members just literally whiz through and grab everything that you want and it's that's so much faster than normal people doing it. Yeah. It was ridiculously quick, and I cannot wait. This is called a gluttonous rice chicken. In some sort of leaf. We will see how that tastes like. So breakfast done. The service is just incredible. You can see there, they've actually one person serves you all the way through, and they kind of do like a relay behind each other to then get the next person. It's so quick. And even when we finish, as soon as we finish, someone had cleared our tables away. Again, compared to the Holiday Inn back home, very different, very impressed. The gluttonous chicken rice was literally just chicken fried rice in a, what we think is a banana leaf, we're not sure. I wasn't a massive fan of the leaf. However, the chicken and rice inside, gorgeous. We've got our towels. Rachel made a good shout of actually getting them before we go back up to our room. And we've also got a key. So we've come onto the rooftop. Behind me is the pool. It's kind of one, it's like a long line of a pool. And yeah, this is our this is our view. It's actually stunning up here. Again, green. There's green everywhere in Singapore. This looks absolutely stunning. Let's go up here first. So I think this is some sort of hot tub. It's actually two hot tubs in one. You can get it from inside and there's some buttons there to operate it. It looks stunning. It's really warm now and it's early doors. Uh, it's about 26 degrees now, I think. Yeah, and everything's well spaced out. They do take it so seriously over here. And this is the pool. And it's filled right to the brim. Not particularly hot, but it's not cold. That is amazing. 
it's so satisfying to look. You can see it's just spilling over the edges and stuff, but it's actually incredibly satisfying to look at. When the sun is out, it does feel quite warm, but I don't feel like I'm about to get burnt anytime soon. This just is amazing. The fact that no one's in it as well, so it's perfectly calm. It looks stunning. I mean, this is a city and just look at how much green there is. It's something you don't really realise you've missed until you see it done. It just looks incredible. We don't know if Aki will let us into the gym. See if I let us in? Yeah. You can see here. You've got treadmill, bike, cross trainer, and then some weights at the end. It doesn't obviously look like it gets used a lot, but it is here. The windows are open and that's your view. There's worse gyms, isn't there? Even a place to have some lunch up here as well. Nice little terrace. Right, I'm gonna get in the pool. I did sort of book this hotel for this pool because it looked amazing. Well, I didn't actually. It was also relatively cheap compared to the rest of them. But if you were trying to swim in it though, it'd be far from ideal because obviously you only get two people swimming next to each other. But even so, I'm very excited to get in. Oh, so this is the first bit of traffic we've seen. Oh, it's not really traffic, it's just held on the lights. It's still moving up there. <whistles> Swim done. It's just the best way to start the day, isn't it? Right, I'm going to go back to the room, have a shower, get ready to go out to start trying to make our way to the zoo, Singapore Zoo. So I pick this up and we're on the way to the metro system. Oh, it's lovely temperature in here. Right, we're going to make our way to Clark Key Metro Station. I've got to change once and then go up north. I can't remember the name of the station we're getting off at. One sec, I'll check. It's Katib. Katib, we need to get off. And every 20 minutes, there's a shuttle from that station to the park. We need to somehow get one of these cars to pay for it. The 20 minute shuttle is only one Sing Singaporean dollar. We don't know how to pay for it. So we'll see what happens with that. Unlike the UK, you actually have to check out on the app as well here. Whereas in the UK, it used to keep you checked in until I think it was 11.59 each day, which meant Obviously you're getting pinged left, right, well I wasn't because I still rocked an iPhone 6 so I couldn't actually download the app. But... So on our way to the metro station we've come to have a little... This is actually, this is actually waterfalls, this could go off at any minute like the Hunger Games. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah, it looks like it. But this is, yeah, this is... I think I booked our hotel because I knew there's lots of restaurants over here that we could potentially go and have a look at. It is literally a ghost town. It's a Thursday, after, a Thursday morning, I suppose, but even so... So 
So we're here, or around here somewhere, and you can actually get a boat all the way to, uh, well, to the very front. This A3 laminated sign is odd. It is early, but it does seem like there's no even any like kind of hustle and bustle of people setting stuff up for the day. It is very confusing to see. Like, I mean, it's obviously maybe pandemic, or maybe just maybe we are just at the completely wrong time. But So it wouldn't accept my any of my credit cards or debit cards, uh, any of them, MasterCard, Visa, whatever. I had to buy this from the actual 7-Eleven shop. This is an easy card, which is also accepted on the shuttle bus. And I had to go and buy something from the shop and get money out. It was just a massive faff. However, we're now going to Pungol. But we're going one station up the line, actually. North South Line? Yeah, North South Line towards Jurong. Jurong East. No talking on the tube. Now that is a COVID rule. You also get fined five hundred dollars if you just eat or drink on there, which means we're very clean. I mean, I've got to go and try and find the short bus that leaves every twenty minutes and costs one Singaporean dollar. So with some quick maths, and mostly because it's one pound to the one pound eighty at the moment. That 20 to 30 minute journey, one pound. It's very well advertised. One pound for half an hour. Isn't London like four pound 20 at least? Or four pound 50 now for one trip? I didn't even have time to have a drink and the bus turned up. By the time I took off my mask, it was here. Oh, I nearly missed a step then. Thank you. So Rachel corrected me, it was like, it was over half an hour, that journey, because we actually went through one other station for one English pound. How much is it on the tube for one journey in a minute, in zone one? Uh, it's at least 4.50, right? I think it's 4.70, isn't it? And it's going up in April again, it just announced. For one zone one, and we're like easily zone three, four, wouldn't we? Yeah, yeah. Um, 
like in comparison terms. Yeah. We, we, we were on there for like say half an hour. First impressions. This thing is massive. We arrived at about midday. We got till five, five hours in the Singapore Zoo. Then we got to wait an hour and a half before we can then start the going to the night safari park, which is a, a separate park basically, We're featuring essentially nocturnal animals. That's how it was kind of sold on the website. But, but the drive into the grounds has like been five minutes alone. They're doing lots of construction. I don't know what they're building, but lots and lots of construction work. But we both said it kind of reminds us of the whole Disney World Resort. It's like that big. It's, it feels absolutely massive. I mean, very, I'm about to get one over by a truck. This bit is not as glamorous. We're very excited for the inside. I just had my photo taken here and then as everybody always does, I started smiling, but obviously you can't tell that. Right, we're in. This place just looks stunning. I'm very excited. I'm very hot though. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so there's a Lego event which you've got. It's basically just a dino land, isn't it, with Lego dinos. So Rachel is a zoo guru. So she's basically my tour guide around the zoo. Um, but yeah, let's have a bit of a montage of, of the zoo. Because it's the easiest way to just kind of show you around. Yeah, this looks like it's a very good start. That noise, by the way, isn't a drill, it's animals. It's very loud. I have forgotten my sun cream, that we both have. But luckily here, there just seems to be like, all the waterways are covered under shade and stuff. But it does mean tomorrow I might look a bit more like a tomato. Do pelicans spread COVID? I don't think so. I think it's more like. I know. I was, I was, I was only joking. It was a joke for the video. But look at these ants. So one of the best things I've ever seen, and because I've got the Merlin pass, I went to um, the Sea Life. No. Is it Sea Life in London? Yeah. Where would they go? They go all the way down here. And yeah, in that sea life, they have a tube for the ants and they travel and they go all around like lots of different, different exhibits, uh, lots of different exhibits, enclosures. And you see them carrying leaves back and stuff. I can't see any of them actually carrying anything. But they are traveling backwards and forwards. Maybe they're not going to and from a place, but it's the best thing about the sea life in, um, it was just the ants tubes. It was fascinating to watch them and how, how much stuff they could carry. I just cracked myself because this guy just got out of the water and then just started going where he wants. So he stumbled upon a little catering out there. Again, all looks nicely done. It looks gorgeous in it, yeah. Oh, the little carry out as well. The food, though, you can see some rotisserie chicken there. It just looks like really good quality, rather than like just burgers and fries type thing. 
Oh, here you go. Roasted chicken rice sack. That looks... It looks brilliant. Best tandoori. We're probably not going to eat until the gap in between the two parts. That looks absolutely brilliant in there. It all looks very, very nice. There's also some sort of tram here. I don't know if it's free or if to pay for it. So there is a tram that can take you around the park. It's five dollars for an adult, three three dollars, five dollars for an adult, three dollars for a child. However, the enclosures are that that dense is the word I've used. You'd struggle to see something if you're going past at any sort of speed. It doesn't seem to be stopping. So, but yeah. So we're going to walk, even though we are burning to a crisp. <laughs> saying that white tigers aren't the best thing because they've been bred quite harshly from just one one tiger there was one tiger with a genetic defect and then they kept on breeding them so with inbreeding which means it isn't a great idea um, they have got a brother and sister here uh, together but overall yeah white tigers aren't aren't a great thing um it doesn't say anything about breeding or anything here so we're not too sure of it and obviously i'm not the you know i don't know too much about it but although they might look uh really cute and stuff there's no conservation value basically by carrying on breeding them so again rachel been saying that a lot of places a lot of places say that white tigers are like Oh, they're even more endangered. Like a lot of zoos kind of spin it that way. But you can see here, it, it goes back to, you know, it's not an albino or a difference. It's literally due to that one genetic mutation. It doesn't say anything about the breeding, like the fact they were inbred. Grab eye juice. I love the fact that these, I was just saying, how do I just buy one? I want one juice. Payment card? Is that easy? Charge me. That looks satisfying, doesn't it? Oh no, it's pretty full already. Actually, that's amazing. Oh no, there is three going into it. I was just saying to it, I can't wait till I go to uh, you can grab it. Oh, are we done? It's even sealed it. That's mental. Eye jewels. Oh, I didn't expect it to seal it, that's crazy. And no plastic. Oh yeah, that's, that's like, like um, that's like a weird It's like that veggie wear stuff, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And that's paper cup, right? Yeah. That's incredible. Three dollars. One pound fifty ish. I'm glad you, I'm, <laughs> juice best consumed within two hours. I'm so glad we got that. It looks like nectar <laughs> from Jesus. The reason why we got it is because we were so impressed that, because you can see all the oranges on the top of the machine, that it must get replenished on such a regular basis. Because there must be easily a hundred oranges in there. Rachel's making a face. I know Rachel doesn't want to be filmed, but like she's making a weird face. In enjoyment is what I'm saying of that. Oh my God. 
Everything about that was amazing. I'm, I'm staggered it sealed it. It sealed the cup That's and, so nice. and it's not plastic or anything. That is, that is crazy. Let's do Stu's food review all round, <laughs> it? Why does that taste, uh, it's a stupid question. Why does it taste so much better than orange juice that I had this morning, for example, which would have been out of a carton. Yeah. It was nice and it had bits and stuff. But it felt really sharp. Well, that doesn't feel as sharp, but it, it feels a little less processed, I suppose, is the, is the answer, yeah. isn't it? There were no additives in it. Because that way, Gorgeous. it would be fresh if it, if it's come from a car and it would be like... It felt, it feel really ta felt really tangy. Was that... Yeah. It's, obviously, it's not orange. It feels a little bit citrusy, but... Love it. Absolutely love it. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to guess who sponsors the kangaroos here at the Singapore Zoo. As a company, you will have heard of it. Five seconds. You're gonna kick yourself. It's a interpretation board in Braille. And even this is like for detail and is in Braille. So you got the bigger bumps as well, but. So you can see the image a bit better. I've never ever seen that before. My head's been my head's been blown a little bit. The orangutans can just go like they're all they can just go over your head. What stops them not just jumping down? So this guy's up this tree and this tree just people are walking down there. That's unusual, right? I mean, they look pretty chill. But yeah, on this, there's a lot of network of ropes right above us and it goes into another enclosure onto the left-hand side, as well as this one. I have worked out a little bit. You see a bit further down the tree, these little spikes, and these are electric fences basically. I mean, I don't believe they couldn't jump past them though. So yeah, it's very strange to just see what they've got. Very, very open access. Run 
now on the lower path, you can see the ropes were over our heads. And off to the right. Okay, so we've been to, not, you know, we've not been to loads of zoos, but we've been to a fair few now. I've never ever seen anything where it's just the, I mean, like I said, there's a path here and they can just hang out above your head. So right, as you just said, that is the, she thinks that's the best enclosure she's ever seen. Because it's engaging for the public. You can't fail to be wowed by it because it was really, really good. Plenty of hiding space for the animals. And the animals don't feel, or don't look to feel. I mean, you can always have the argument of they need more space. That's an argument you're not going to get away from from zoos, but they appear to be free. There's no cages or anything like that. Like I say, we've seen a few, and here it, it, it's one of the best places for natural barriers. Um, so you can see the animals, but less fences and stuff. Cold Marden is another great zoo that we went to. But yeah, the, lots of praise from, from right there. And from me, like, as a, like I said, I don't know as much, but it looks impressive. Like, it wowed me the fact they could just go everywhere. Like Chester Zoo, I think they're all, pretty much all the time behind glass. Very few times, is there, even just a cage, is actually glass and you can actually have that physical barrier. Rachel's found some air conditioning in this reptile house of five reptiles. So we're going to spend the next two hours now in here. It is nice to be fair. It is nice because nowhere we've been in so far has been air conditioned. Nicotine is a very powerful insecticide. Didn't know that. There's been lots of new stuff on the other side there. If that wasn't going on, it would actually be quite a tranquil place. Butterfly houses are always, um, like, they're a great spectacle. This is a different guy.
is very hot. I'm going for another orange juice. I'm already excited. What was it? Lime Solero. Lime Solero and some cookie dough. It was expensive, but just feeling the coldness makes it worth it. Oh, look, this is very on theme. <laughs> or maybe it's a parade. <laughs> okay, so this is gonna be, you can see how hot it is. Look at the, look at the steam coming off it, or the, yeah, vaporing. Um, it's not served with a spoon, so, this is not going to be, what's the word? Convenient. Convenient or elegant on how I'm about to eat this. Because this is ridiculous, I thought I'd film it. So I'm having to melt the ice cream with my hand on the outside and then use this as a scoop, which is the lid, to eat it with. Mm. Rachel's just sliggered at me. Because the reason why we came back to the machine was because I thought I'd been double charged. Well, I think I have been double charged for one of them. However, she's seen this. The upside of this is, think of well, what I've not now sent to landfill. That spoon, for me eating it with the lid, like an ape. That's the best possible way of thinking about it, I think. Right, after me being an absolute idiot with regards to my ice cream and a spoon. Can I come see some chimpanzees? This is like a little kids area, farmyard type thing. KFC in the park, which I've never seen in a zoo before. And also, it's very weird to have a KFC next to some chickens. That's the circle of life. We're both very warm. Okay, well, that's it, isn't it? This little area. This is the carousel. It does cost, I think, because it says you can purchase your tokens here. And no one's on it, but it looks alright. There's all different farm animals on there. You could ride on an eagle. So, this is a high rope slash low ropes course. It looks like it hasn't been used in a while. Again, pay again, just like the carousel. And this is the bigger high ropes course. Oh, and it's got a viewing platform. That's a good idea, actually. But yeah, or maybe it's only open uh, at busier times, maybe. The view though, is amazing. There's actually a railway set up, but it looks like it's just for construction materials maybe, rather than actually an attraction of any sort. face mask is on and the rest of me is burning up basically. hard to tell but the luggage and the clipboard is real but then the screen in front is it does track the mouse oh okay that's amazing that's oh we're scan oh what in it i'm just got it right because i was standing in the wrong position so that's now appeared on the clipboard and you're scanning the luggage is this to deal with like smuggling? Yes. Yes. There you go, illegal wildlife trade. 
That is so clever. So this is similar, it reminds me at the minute of Velocicoaster in the queue line. They have, you see the real roller coaster behind and then Raptors chase it on screens. I can't figure out how they're stuck. I think it's the same sort of technology. It's a new technology, which means you just said that we feel like this is a new area. But yes, yeah, it's the exact same effect. Where there's a screen over. That's amazing. Just thought we'd take a seat on this bench from Mr. Long. That's very immature. And as always, gonna walk through the gift shop. Right, it's now quarter past five. We have seen everything that we've done at a very leisurely pace. Uh, we're currently enjoying the air condition of the shop. We're gonna get some food in this gap now between this park closing and the nighttime safari starting. So I'll probably pick this up when we go into the night safari. I won't be able to film much in the night because you, you won't see anything on this camera. Oh, I genuinely thought you were gonna go straight into that then, right? Uh, so yeah, I probably won't film much over there, but if I can film some of then I'll show you. Okay, we've just gone. We've got to wait until the other restaurant opens, so we've come to this restaurant before it closes. And we've gone for the uh, Kiwi and Jungle Fizz. And this is what we got. So it's a short walk to the night safari from the other park. So you got to walk through the construction again, but the river the night safari and the zoo are all one. I think you gotta get a bus to the bird, the bird one. It's only a short walk, I think. Right, we're in the lobby, that kind of lobby area, but we're gonna go and get some food first. Taste of Malaysia. Right, we've only got something small and uh, Rachel's right, promised what did I say for vegetarian dishes? What was my line? Spoiled for choice. Spoiled for choice, apparently. And the choice was one choice. So I just didn't get anything. I got some uh, some satay chicken. We're both really excited at the fact that this is something completely new. It's not a zoo. Well, it is a zoo, but like, it's delivered in a very different way.
pluck a blade of grass and strong enough to uproot a tree. The population drastically. The Malayan tigers that once preyed on Samba deer began hunting cow and other livestock. Throughout this journey, they saw Okay, it's already going quite dark, so we won't see much from uh, here on in. That was about a 25 minute tram tour, essentially. Uh, see the tram there, yeah, I mean. It has, been going, it has gone dark in that time, or going dark. I'm really fascinated in how that'll look in a couple of hours time. I'm going to do, start doing the walking trails, which look amazing, all really low lighting. Looks really nice. So going to do all the trails, then do that again, just before we leave, probably. So every, obviously all the signs are illuminated because normally in the zoo, you don't need to. No flash photography, that's fine. I don't, that's, I've already said it's going to be pitch black on the camera from this point, so. Um, did you notice then, Rach, when we went past that zebra crossing, he put two on his counter. So all the lighting's really low level. And again, you can hardly see anything on the on the camera. This is amazing. It's like the world's biggest and best scare attraction. So in here, there's lots of uh, literally caves, and you actually you can hit your head on there, but you look through here, there's bridges. This is absolutely stunning. So this is a wallaby walkthrough, and the, this all this lighting, it's pretty much the same lighting all the way around, and it's simulated moonlight um he looks knackered so we've done the wallaby trail it's now on the east lodge trail So I think we've done two trails and it's just, it's, it's absolutely incredible. The zoo was good, but this is all, it's just brilliant, absolutely brilliant.
So all the trail's done. It's about nine o'clock and there's no queue now for this. So hopefully we just by ourselves. I don't think we will be by ourselves, but. So yeah, the, uh, you can plug your headphones in and then change the language. But it's not on every car, so a bit strange, but still, still like a good little nifty thing. Right, second ride on the tram done. You wouldn't have seen anything really on the camera because we're moving at speed and it's very dark. I'm glad I did it in the way we did. We did the first lap as soon as we came in at 7.15. Then we did the four trails. Then we finished off with another go right at the end as well. Uh, we're gonna probably finish the video here. We're now gonna get the Metro back. We're gonna get the shuttle bus back to the Metro station and the Metro back to the a hotel so unless anything dramatic happens this will be the end of the video we've been to we had the pool this morning we had breakfast and then we got the metro over to singapore zoo and then tonight we've done the night safari both me and rachel have both said is the, the zoo was already brilliant with how it was and we are quite fussy when it comes to zoos and stuff but the night safari and everything like the, the trails and stuff Absolutely stunning. Um, cannot recommend it enough for something completely different, which we've never seen before from a zoo. So other than that, thank you very much for watching. If you've not already, please subscribe and comment. Smash that like button, eh, right? I just got an evil look from Rachel. <laughs> and uh, thank you very much. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next video.